This is NAB Show Live. Andrew Hancock here with NAB Show. I'm here with Emery of Frame.io. He's actually the guy, the founder, huh? Three years, you said, right? We launched three years ago here at NAB. That's right. At NAB. It's like an anniversary then. Pretty much. We launched like very shortly before NAB, so basically at NAB. Nice. And Frame.io, for those who don't know, is great. It's a, uh, you describe it, it's a real-time collaboration editing tool, right? Or how would you describe it? Well, not, not a real-time editing tool. It's a, it's a collaboration and review tool. So for the review and approval process, really the sharing and communication part of video creation. So you have sharing of files, you have to communicate around those files, you have to uh, manage versions, things like that. That's right, that's what I meant, yeah. So you have your editor who does an edit, a version, and then all the client hops on there. It's like, I want to change this, 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 and this. And then the editor goes back and changes it all, and it's kind of great because you can comment, you can throw in assets, it's wonderful. It's a cool tool, I've used it a lot. Um, what are you guys showing off here at the show this year? So we are previewing the all new Frame.io, which is gonna launch later this summer. Well, actually, starting, we're starting to launch some of it now. It's a rolling launch between now and the summer. And the story that we're telling is that while Frame.io is a video collaboration product, and that's still what we're focused on, filmmaking is a composite of all the creative arts, right? It's photography, illustration, design, writing, music, and we have to work with all those assets while we're creating video. So we're introducing three new content types. One is a multi-page PDF viewer for uploading scripts and storyboards. We have page-based annotations, so you can uh, do all the annotations on the storyboards, things like that. We're uh, introducing an advanced image viewer. So we've always had an image viewer, but it's an enhanced image viewer. So we support hundreds of raw image formats in full resolution. So you can upload wow. your location scouts, your casting photos, uh, any other kind of graphic elements or still elements that you're working with. We have some great features for stills like a loop mode. So if you have a super high resolution 8K image, you can hold down the shift, shift key to get a loop of 100% resolution, you know, things like that. Just stuff that's gonna make it a lot easier to work with image assets. And of course, did you have a question? No, go ahead. So uh, of course, 50% of video is audio. So we have a new audio player that will show waveform and audio meters. So it's better experience for working with audio. That's awesome. And since Frame.io is all cloud-based, you guys can update kind of whenever you want, and then people just get to take advantage the next minute, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. We, we're, we push updates all the time, and uh, it's just instantly available. That's fantastic. So these guys are in the Western Digital booth, and they're at the Frame.io station in that booth. Is that right? That is right. That is right. So that was just the beginning of what the all-new Frame.io is. So there's more. There's more. I'm sorry, I jumped the gun. There's more. We're, we are expanding on our core, core collaboration tool set. So one of the primary value props of Frame.io has always been our frame-based comments, right? You can leave a comment on a specific frame. Well, we're expanding that to range-based comments. So you can leave a comment from an in to an out point. Uh, so that'll allow you to more easily communicate your idea. So like this montage doesn't work or this whole scene is, needs to be changed around or that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. Or, uh, you know, like the, these three beats, you know, I like those, let's, you know, whatever. You need to communicate about, about a range. Um, we are uh, introducing app mentioning. So for any social tool, you want to be able to app mention someone to so be able to app mention your colleague and say, hey, you know, we need to do something here. You'll get a notification. Uh, we're going to have attachments to comments. So if you're referencing uh, maybe a, uh, a color grade or a reference color grade that you like and say, I think it should be more like this shot should look feel more like this cool uh, tone. And here's a reference and you can upload that reference to your comment. In addition to that, there's some, some improvements to the core organization feature. So we have a new global file search. So you can search for any asset across any project and you can search by certain metadata attributes. There's gonna be a new list view which you can populate with any of those metadata attributes. There's a, um, uh, we're improving the version control. So we, we've had, we have version stacks. During the creation process, there's an endless number of versions, right? You're uploading version one through 10,000. And in Frame.io, they're all neatly organized into a version stack but we have a new tool for managing versions, so you can remove a version in the middle of the stack, add a version in the middle of the stack, rearrange versions, change the numbers. So for example, maybe you do 10 versions internally before you show it to your client, and you, you can now call that version 10 on Frame.io, so you and your client are referencing the same thing. Because in your mind, this is version 10, in the client's mind, it was version one, but now you can say version 10, right? So things like that for managing versions. Um, the next version of Frame.io is gonna be fully enterprise ready. And for us, that means three things. So the first is watermarking. You, you'll be able to have a custom watermark on all incoming assets. 
The second is lifecycle policies. So if you work in a large media organization, which many of our customers do, if there's hundreds or thousands of people uploading to Frame.io, chances are when the project completes, they don't clean up after themselves. So you can now set a policy that says if an asset hasn't been touched in X number of days, either move it or remove it from Frame.io. And last is security and compliance. So whether you work in a large organization or you're an individual, security is really important. Uh, for, for larger organizations, it's, it's absolutely critical, but even for smaller organizations and individuals, you should feel confident that the content you upload to Frame.io is safe. It's your IP and we need to protect it. So later this summer, we're going to be fully compliant with MPAA, which is now transitioning into something called TPN, which is Trusted Partners Network, and we'll, have, we'll be compliant with SOC 2 Type 1. If you don't know anything about these security certifications, which I didn't many years ago, I've learned a lot about them more recently, what it means is your content's gonna be very, very safe. Nice, so no more uh, Game of Thrones leaks. That's right, that's right. Um, that's kind of a snapshot of what's coming in the all new Frame.io, but in addition to that, we have launched a new product here at NAB. It's a Mac OS menu bar app, and it has watch folders. So you'll be able to render from Onset Dailies or um, Resolve or really any app into a watch folder. And then the contents of that folder will automatically go up to Frame.io. So imagine you're, you did a shoot, you're rendering out your dailies from Resolve. You set them to go to a watch folder. It's going to a corresponding project in Frame.io. You hit one button, render, you go to sleep, all your dailies are online the next morning. And the big selling point of these watch folders is they are one, the tra file transfer is accelerated, so it is as fast or faster than the dedicated file transfer solutions. It's consistently been benchmarked, Frame.io in general has consistently been benchmarked as one of the fastest file transfer solutions available, period. And now we've made that file transfer available in a watch folder app, which means it's going to be significantly more durable. We have tested this under every scenario we can imagine. During an upload, you can restart your computer, you can yank out your hard drive, you can move locations, you can do whatever you want. When, this, when the connection comes back or your hard drive is back in, the upload's gonna pick up right where it left off. That's huge. I can't tell you the number of uploads that I, that I walked away, computer went to sleep, and they were just, oh, ruined, gotta start over. And they were huge files. Right, so the way it works is we're doing chunked uploading. So if you're doing a huge file, we're uploading it in chunks, and it'll pick up, it'll, it'll, wherever it fails, you'll lose that chunk, but when it resumes, it'll pick up on the, on the next chunk. That's awesome. And that's being launched when? Today. Today? Or at NEB, so Monday. It's, uh, it's available now. It's available now. Go check it out. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, anything else you got for us? I think that covers it. That's, uh, that's, that's the news at the Frame.io station. That's awesome. Well, you guys are, it's been an exciting journey. You guys are a tool that saves a lot of people a lot of time. So I appreciate the hard work and keep it up. Thank you very much.